is for training purposes in TV news education. Some copyrighted material is used and is credited on screen. However, no more was taken than was necessary to tell the story of the event. YBA claims fair use of material. alongside Nikki. How and how you been, Nikki? I've been very good. This camp has been crazy. It was so much fun with all the crazy, funny little kids. One right here, I have to say. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be definitely, it's definitely going to be sad to uh, yeah, leave. Yeah, I don't want to go. Well, sometimes I do, because then I can go to the beach, but... <laughs> Who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> now, we're going to send it off to Joe with some of the breaking news stories. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, this is your YBA News, and uh, one of the most revered traditions in sports will take place in London tonight as the opening ceremony for the Olympics kicks off on NBC at 8, 7 central. In other Olympic news, legally blind archer Im Dong Hun broke an Olympic world record. He set the previous record himself in Turkey this past May with a score of 696. This morning, he broke the record once again by three points, with a total of 699. Mr. Dong Hun has 10% vision in his right eye and 20% in his left. He sees the target as blurred colors, and he just hits the bright parts. The Get Curious campaign by NASA is hosting a series of events between July 26th and August 9th. At the event, they will be displaying five synthetic Mars rocks in Atlanta, Austin, Boston, Detroit, Columbus, Houston, Indianapolis, and Orlando. The event is designed to promote the landing of the Curiosity Mars rover, which will take place on August 6th. The rover will be spending two years on Mars searching for signs that the planet had once been inhabitable. On the eve of Mitt Romney's scheduled trip to Tel Aviv, President Barack Obama signed legislation giving $70 million to Israel for missile defense systems. In 2008, President, the President, President Obama won 78% of the Jewish vote, according to the national exit polls. Romney's trip to Tel Aviv was viewed as an attempt to secure some of the Jewish voters for himself. Obama's signing of the legislation is viewed by many as an attempt to undercut Romney's efforts. Scientists claim that they might have found the cure for AIDS. Wednesday, they found the drug, they found the use of a certain cancer drug, known as Varinostat, has been found to flush the HIV virus out of the cells from which it is hiding. Around 34 million people around the world currently live with AIDS. A disease that has killed some 30 million since it first appeared in the 1980s. Scientists view the use of Rinostat as a breakthrough in the fight to cure AIDS. So guys, uh, Nikki and Matt, what do you think of this? Um, I personally, I think it's great. I mean, anytime you can help people um, when they have such a widespread disease and it hurts and affects so many people each year, I think it's great that they're actually finding a way to maybe help or cure these people. Nikki? Yeah, AIDS is such a big disease that we hear globally. And I think they should honestly, if it works and if they have it, they should bring it to Africa and to like help all the people there. Because there's so many people suffering of AIDS in Africa. That's all we hear about. And I think AIDS is such a powerful disease. It could really lower the death rate if they have a successful medicine that can cure it. Don't you agree, Matt? Definitely. Completely. Now back to you, Joe. Yes, very definitely a very good thing that they have found a cure. In more lighthearted news, a hen in southern Romania has some very curious chicks. Actually, they aren't chickens at all. They are really four kittens. Apparently, whenever the kitten's real mother is away, the chicken jumps right in with the kittens and watches over the litter. And those are some really cute little kittens I got there. And uh, so, uh, back to you guys. 
That's so funny. Why did the chicken like go to an adoption center? Americans love when kittens are in any stories or cats. Exactly. Say. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's our new segment. Thanks, Joe. Uh, yeah. Nikki? Thank you, guys. Thanks, yeah. Joe. Now off to a quick break.